It's Friday. I hadn't felt like coming in here before since I've been sick this week. So my last workout was on Monday. But I at least wanted to get two sessions of the main exercises in this week. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm still kind of stuffed up, but the more I move around, the more I get cleared out. And that's how I'll be using this workout also is to hopefully get cleared out and, and you know be okay after that. So I'm going to start with the warm up with just the bar and stretching out the shoulders. <laughs> Twenty-fives on each side, ninety-five pounds total. the plates labeled R123 and O123 for the order that they go in so that the bar stays balanced because all these plates can vary a little bit off of each other and you don't want to stack a half pound inconsistency where some plates may be a half pound light some plates may be up to a half pound heavy if you get all the heavy ones on one side and all the light ones on the other side you'll be out of balance so, 135.
Next movie, two reps of 185. It's kind of surprising. Even when you get the weights up, around 300 pounds, if you throw an extra either a two and a half pound plate or a five pound plate on one side, not on the other, you can feel a huge difference as soon as you pick the bar up and it wants to lean to one side. It's quite amazing how even at a weight like that where a few pounds might not be a significant amount, you can still tell. Continue stretching the shoulders. It's important because especially as the weight goes up, you don't want this riding on your neck. You want it supported by your shoulders. Those were the first reps that felt good. It's kind of funny, but on the lighter weights, it doesn't feel good. It's more about gradually stretching the shoulders out to prepare me to be able to do the heavier weights. Because like I said, you don't want that bar riding on your neck. That's not good. That's not good at all. And it's kind of like without enough weight, it's hard to get down far enough. You don't get it. I just don't seem to get enough stretch. Okay, 225 for one rep. This will be the last warm up. That felt good. Now I'm going to load the bar up. I'm going to go 305 today. I had been doing light squats for 300, but since on Monday I completed 350 for five, I'm going to move up five pounds to 305 for light squats. Light squats today are five reps at 305. some bench press starting with just the bar 45 pounds
125, so 95 pounds total. Five for one. Five for one. Two twenty five for one. Twenty-five. I'm going to add ten on each side. It's two thirty-five. Two forty-five. And then two and a half. Which makes an even two fifty. Last week, I did a single at 225, and then a single at 245, which may not sound like a lot to many of you guys out there, but you have to remember, I have some serious shoulder problems with this arm. It's getting a whole lot better. There's, right now, I'm benching without pain, which is incredible. But I hadn't benched 
I had to stop for at least six months. And at this point, it's been over a year since I've even had 200 pounds on the bar. I mean, when I started back, just doing the bar alone at 45 pounds was hard. It caused so much pain in the shoulder that I was barely able to do two reps the first time I tried it, you know, tried going back. So this is incredible progress coming from that point until now. So today I'm gonna to see if I can do a single at 250. Not too bad. I think I could have done a double, but I don't want to push anything right now. I'm gradually working up to doing some heavier weights. I'm going to stay mostly with my high reps at low weights and use that to develop strength. It may not be as efficient as doing heavy weights, but it's still working. I'm still able to make progress. And like I said, last week was the first time in, in probably over a year that I've had 200 pounds on the bar. So, it's I'm doing good. This felt good. I didn't have any shoulder pain doing that, which, like I said, to me is just amazing. This would be 195 for as many reps as I feel comfortable doing. Now, like I said, today's Friday. I had got in here on Monday because I was starting to get sick. Tuesday was the day I felt the worst. Wednesday, a little bit better. Yesterday, I felt pretty good. I still had too much garbage you know, in my head. I was, I was coughing and trying to trying to get this stuff out. But today, today I feel really good. Except for, like I said, a little bit of that uh, lingering laryngitis. And so the moving around is helping to get cleared out. But I, I feel pretty good, almost back to normal today. Except for just a little bit of those, those symptoms that tend to hang on for a few days. So pretty much it was a three-day, you know, three-day thing. But that's a, that's a flu. So at some point here in the future, I am going to show you the procedures I use and the different supplements I used and some, some stuff about nutrition that helps some of these colds and flus to not last so long, that you get over them quick. You're a little more resistant to them, but one thing that you have to consider, I work at a college. So between a college and then being at church three times a week, I'm always around a lot of sick people. So you're going to catch this stuff. You just, you can't avoid it. So there are a few protocols you can do to help minimize it. And then when you do get sick, to help you have a speedy recovery. Let's do this next set now. Four reps, 195, not too bad. Now we'll move on to deadlifts. I think you can see the weights on there. For the last time you couldn't. The 135 warm up set number one.
225. Warm up set number two. socks up protect your shins just a little bit. Yeah, check and see if you can see all the weights. I think so. I still might move the camera for work sets. Make it a little clearer. Warm up one at three fifteen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see the weights this time. 20 pounds. We're going to go for a single. Too bad. I dropped the weight to 375. We're going to do one set.
So here's where everything's at for the last couple of weeks. You know, it seems it seems like I've been struggling to gain in my lifts for several years. And it's constantly gains followed by a series of setbacks. Could be an injury, or it could be like lately where you have Thanksgiving, so you have a holiday that gets in the way and family to see. And then followed by about two weeks of really intense work with the Christmas concerts that were going on here since I do all the tech work involved with them. And then probably getting from that, getting run down and then getting sick and potentially having yet another week lost. So this could have been three weeks in a row where I very easily could have done nothing. But instead of that, even just doing the basics, like last week and this week, two workouts a week, you can see I was able to make some gains. In November, let's see here. Okay, I was only, they only did 350 by four on squats at the end of November. Deadlifts I did 410 and then 370 by three. And then moving on, I did 415 and 370 by six on deadlifts. And on bench, I went up to 245 by one, which at this point, it's been, like I said earlier, it's been a good year since I had even had 200 pounds on the bar. And then this week, squats, did all five reps at 350. I got 15 reps at 190, 13 on the second set. Added some weight for chins, an extra 10 pounds. And then today I did light squats, 305 for five. But at bench, I went up to 250 for one rep, which I'm pretty sure I could have done a double. And then 195 for 12. And for deadlifts, we're at 420 for one, and that's not overly hard. I could have done more than that. I'm not doing these singles, these heavy singles, at a max weight. Then I did 375 for six, where last week it was 370 for six, and then, like I said before that, 370 for three. So even though things are tough, you can be really busy. You can have to travel. You can go through sickness. And as long as you still get your basics in, you can still make pretty good progress, you know, considering, you know, what you've been going through. So consistency is key in lifting. That is the hard part. That's the harder part than lifting the weights. If you can achieve consistency, you can get results. And I've been trying really hard since coming back from this um, messed up shoulder to be as consistent as I possibly can, even though I don't always feel like doing it. I didn't feel like coming up here this week. Last week, with how busy I was, I didn't feel like coming up here, being so tired. And you could see even here um, be how tired I was. I only got three reps at 370 for, on deadlifts. So it makes a difference. Just get in the gym. And get it done even if you don't feel like it at least have your basics covered twice a week and you won't stagnate you won't regress and then have to spend time and waste waste weeks coming back getting back to the point where you were not only the, the, the weeks that you missed training but then the weeks that you have to spend just getting back to where you were it's very easily to lose a month or two months of time just by being lazy or not getting up here when you don't feel good or you're tired or you're sick. So just get in there and get it done. We'll see you on the next workout.